We are out here. Morning. Morning, how are you? Good, and yourself? All right guys, out here it is rough as hell. And we are in the splash zone for sure. And the tide's only gonna come up, it's only gonna get rougher. So. Three fishermen drown. <laughs> and they were Googans. <laughs> Bass. Woo! Little guy. Hey, I twitched it and stopped it, and he hit it, just like you were saying the other day. All right, so that was pretty darn rough conditions. Uh, we, uh, I ended up catching one little striped bass, jumped a couple bluefish, probably lost one more striped bass on the X-Wrap. Um, Victor didn't catch anything, and he was very uncomfortable. He's chafing in all the right places. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Alec will fish anywhere for anything, so he, he didn't really care. But we're gonna go grab some breakfast real quick, and then we'll really figure out our game plan. The guys we talked to kind of gave us an idea of some places to go, so we'll, we'll figure it out and uh, get back to fishing here in the next couple yeah, hours. We're getting I'm unsubscribing from you for sure, dude. <laughs> Alright y'all, so we've been at this spot, this like nice point here for like the last hour, hour and a half. Been casting a little bit of everything, I've been throwing the X-Rap pretty darn hard. Really haven't caught much of anything. Um, so we're gonna go probably try and spot hop and try and get something done today. It's been a really slow day. This wind straight out of the south has uh, not been really good conditions and it's kind of a, uh, I don't know, it's not, hasn't been good fishing period it's no other way to put it so hopefully we can find something this afternoon slash evening bite maybe try and buy some live eels see if they work uh, we've been getting as much local intel as we can so let's catch you guys in the next clip let's do it live eels all right also we're going into the old bucket of eels here trying to find us a nice bait oh they're freaking wily and take it it's gonna take him like this now hook him through the bottom lip up through the top of the nose now you got to be real careful because when you let these guys go they'll wrap up your line they'll literally like knot up your leader so when you let them go you want to put them like in the water immediately so they can swim all right damn it gets deep pretty quick dude yeah i'm not going further than this You just cast them out, guys. Let them sink for two seconds, and then we slow crank them back to us. The reasoning for that is the eels live in rocks, and we're fishing in a really rocky area, so if you let him, he will literally burrow himself right into the rocks. So you keep tension constantly on him, and he won't go, be able to go into the rock. And you'll keep him in the strike zone for a striper. Victor's hooked up. On the dead eel. 
That's so sick. I was reeling in. I just feel bumped. Where's he at? To your left? Oh. Or to your right? Got him. Nice. On the eel. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Hell yeah! Come here, come here, come here. Oh. This funky one. my first striker on a freaking dead eel. Choked it. Damn, that's sick. Look at that, that is literally an eel hanging on the side of his mouth. <laughs> that's so sick, guys. Yeah, buddy. That's the eel, and I was just reeling it through the water and he swallowed, oh dude, he swallowed that hook. Nice fish, man, 28 inches probably. Probably, right slot. Alex on? Are you? Yeah, Alex on too. Dude, the eel bite is on. All okay, right, guys. time to ride and rig up. So this. All right, let's get the release. All right, get this line off of me, if you don't mind. Yeah. Just pick it up. It is right there, swimming in the rocks. You want me to go? Hold on. If he doesn't make it, dude, there's no point in not. Nah, dude, he's completely fine. You think? Okay. Yeah, he just was disoriented. So here's Alex Shark. Yeah, I. So walking on this stuff was actually some of the sketchiest fishing I have ever done. Because every rock was slippery, covered in seaweed. Most of it was halfway submerged and you can't really see where you're going. You can kind of get an idea with this light, but honestly like everywhere I put my foot could have been whole. Rolled my ankle like five times and I think I was limping for a week after this one night of fishing. But uh, super sketchy place, almost fell right there. Oh, not <laughs> ideal place you want. Victor's on again. Number two. I got, I yeah, I got buddy. Got Thirty along the same thing. Here, let me bring them. Actually, if you, I could bring them this way, but my bad. Dude, that's so sick. That's For real. The same size. Oh, oh. Oh no, he's, I think that's a go. Nice, right. man. Second striper. This is the exact same meal I'm pretty sure that I caught him on, on a dead one. And uh, this is probably, this might be slot, that might be right at 27, 28 inches, I'd say. Nice fish. They're um, so sick, dude. Aren't they? Yeah. So, got him on, striper number two on the eel. Guys, this is such a sick fishery, and uh, yeah, this was on a dead eel, second striper. I actually used the same eel I caught the first striper on, and uh, so we're getting on them. The bite's picking up for sure. They're a little sluggish at first, but they make it.